Hey guys, it's Monica. It is that time of the month again. <laughs> I had to say that. It's that time of the month again uh, for empties. <laughs> I'm being silly. You know, I, um, I have this PR company that um, keeps reaching out to me and you know, you, I, I don't know how to say it, I get a lot of offers. Um, some of them are really weird, uh, and some of them are really cool. Like, I'm really excited about a couple of things that get coming in. But this one PR company keeps reaching out to me, and they want me to try these undies that are period-proof. And I said to them, you know, I, I try to be polite. I'm going, you know, when I'm 67, it's been a while since I've had to worry about that. Um, and then I don't hear back, right? Then I get another email from them saying, oh, we think you'd be perfect for our, you know, period-proof underwear. And I'm like, oh. So then I delete it. And, uh, and I, I, I swear, I must have had like about maybe eight emails from, these, from this company. And it's like, seriously, you know, how am I going to test this? <laughs> like, they get, uh, how to pay, I don't know. Maybe I need to, to do Depends or something. <laughs> But if you're curious about my empties and some things that I bought, stay tuned. All right, so, okay. I don't have a whole lot of empties, um, to be very honest with you, but I will, will talk to you about some of them. Um, one of them, <laughs> talking about period-proof stuff, uh, is I do like to have different body washes, especially for the more intimate parts of my body. And um, I, I have a, a brand that I buy over and over again. However, I decided I was going to try, and I've tried Summer's Eve before. So I tried some of Summer's Eve. This is a low, a low love, a low love Summer's Eve. And I liked it. It was pretty reasonable. I ended up getting this in Walmart. It was pretty reasonable. I probably would buy it again. It's not as nice as my all-time favorite, but I probably would definitely buy it again. And my all-time favorite, for those of you that don't know, and I don't have it here in front of me to, to show it to you, is um, Sweet Spot. And I like the Vanilla Blossom. And you can actually buy it in Ulta now, so you don't always have to buy it online. But that's my all-time favorite. But the Summer's Eve wasn't bad. I actually liked it. I probably would buy it again, probably try it a different, um, you know, maybe a different fragrance. Not that it had a fragrance. It didn't really have a fragrance. But it actually felt very refreshing, and I really liked it. So this definitely is a repurchase. I used up my Magic Root cover-up from L'Oreal, and this is sort of a temporary color cover-up, right? It's not, not like a dye or anything like that, but this is in dark blonde. I have I bought it in medium blonde and dark blonde and light blonde, so I bought it again. And what I do uh, on my own hair is if the gray, because my, my own hair is a lot thinner than, you know, if I wear something like this. This is my my very favorite upstage by Raquel Welch. And this is like in a fully hand-tied cap. I love it. This is shaded cappuccino. Anyways, when I have my own hair, and I, you know, I don't always wear wigs. I don't always wear toppers. So oftentimes I wear my own hair. And I spray the roots a little bit with this. And I love this. I've actually used this dark blonde to darken some of my toppers. And it does come out. It's a temporary, right? It comes out in the wash. But I've actually used this, and I really, really like this. So I've replaced it. I currently have four cans going, um, a brown, a, a dark blonde, and I bought another medium blonde and a light blonde. So I've got like four of these cans. If you catch this on sale, it's a really good buy. It's under $10 usually. And it, to me, it works really well. I, I, my hairdresser has a way more expensive one that I've not tried. But I said, you know what? It, this works really well. So why? So I use it on my bio hair. I've used it on some toppers. And it just kind of gives you, especially if you have, like, you want more dimension. So I love this stuff. This is definitely a repeat buy for me over and over again. 
the the other thing is my mascara i i would have to say that hands down the essence lash princess the black purple one has been my favorite mascara to date um, it has replaced my it, it cosmetics i love the it cosmetics superhero that would be my high end this is my drugstore i did recently purchase and this, so this is empty. I've repurchased it. I have it on today. I have a combination of that on today. And I have wanted to try their Curl and Hold. So this is Essence Curl and Hold. And this is what I have on as well. So I have a combination of two mascaras on my eyes. Essence Curl and Hold and my Lash Princess on top of it. I think, I mean, this this seemed really nice when I put it on my naked lashes. I thought, wow, this is actually pretty good. But I just, I just get better results with my Lash Princess. So I'm liking this. I probably won't buy it again. But I'm liking it. It's not bad, especially if you have short, straight lashes and you want a little bit of a curl. I think it's pretty cool. And so in combination with my last Lash Princess, it worked really well. One thing that I am trashing and not finishing out, I bought this quite a while ago, and this is from e.l.f. Put my glasses on. This is from e.l.f., and this is their brown sugar, and this is a lip scrub. Ah. From e.l.f. Lip Scrub, and I like e.l.f. I mean, e.l.f. has a lot of, you know, products that I really like, um, you know, that I've used, and, but this, this is no go. I'm not even going to finish this. Every time I put this on my lips, the it, it is a scrub, I guess. That's what it's supposed to do. But every time I put this on my lips, it hurts my lips. I, I, I just feel it from, from my lips. Maybe my lips are sensitive. I don't know, but <laughs> this hurts my lips. So trashing it and saying goodbye. Uh, Lumify. Love my Lumify, especially with my dry eye situation. So love this. Got a replacement already. I buy that. Um, I don't use it every day, but I probably use it like maybe three or four times a week, depending on, on how my eyes look. Uh, I use my all over lid color when I'm applying my eyeshadow. My all over lid color is cream brulee, and I use the Wet n Wild. Now, Wet n Wild has two versions of the cream brulee and um of the brulee and i prefer the cream brulee which is the hardest one to find last time i got it i had to get it on ebay as opposed to the brulee the brulee for me is too powdery and but i love this all over lid color it neutralizes my lid my lids i it's like my prep before I put my eyeshadow on. But the brulee is different than the cream brulee. They're the same color. They give me the same, you know, look. Except one, I wear a lot on my cheeks and have to brush it off. And the cream brulee just goes on so much better, so much smoother. Same price, but I got mine on Amazon. So, I've been using the brulee. If I can help it, I will never buy it again if I can help it. Um, this past week, I, it's been kind of a crazy, crazy time frame. Um, Jay and I went away and, uh, no, we didn't go away. We did a day trip. We had to go to a memorial service and we went up north and then we went, we'll bike shopping. We're looking for bikes. So we, we had, a, we had a crazy week. I went to the dentist. It was nutty. Well, on the day I went to the dentist in Merrimack, I decided that the the dentist visit was way more painful than I expected. So I was going to go visit my brother afterwards and bring my brother some, some money that I wanted to give him. And um, then I was going to go to the outlets in Merrimack. And the reason I go to the outlets in Merrimack is that they have a cosmetic company store. They have a few other stores there as well, but they have a cosmetic company store there. And I really like visiting the cosmetic company store. So my cosmetics company store is normally where I get my Estee Lauder foundation, but they've been out of my color forever, so I didn't get that. But um, they have a number of different brands in there, and one of the brands that I always really like is MAC. So I got this little kit from MAC. It's called the Eye Kit Cool. 
and I thought, okay, I'll give it a try, right? It has a mascara in there, and it has a liner in there. I've not tried the mascara yet. I haven't opened it, and I haven't tried the liner yet, but I'm super excited. I want to give this a try. I just, I don't want to open it until I get closer to, because I don't want to have like 50 mascaras open. I've been that way in the past. So I'm not going to open this quite yet, and I'm not going to open my eyeliner quite yet, but I'm looking forward to to seeing how I like them. But I ended up getting the cool, and it comes with a little palette, and I thought that it was really pretty. I love the container. Magnetic, so it does, you know, close securely. Um, I'm going to try to hold it this way so you don't get blinded. And I really like these are cool shades. I really like the colors. So... I do have a couple of MAC palettes that I really like, and I really like this as well, but I will tell you that it's a soft palette. And when I say a soft palette, to get any kind of like real color buildup, you have to build it up, which I actually prefer. I actually prefer to build up than to take off. So you're not going to get like a warm in your face, right? It's going to be a slow build up. But I thought the colors were super pretty. And, and I really liked it. So I'll probably do another video on this and maybe swatch these colors for you. But I ended up getting this in the set and the mascara and the, um, the eyeliner. So I like MAC products. I think they're pretty cool. And I got, of course... I needed this desperately. I mean, I have a couple of different setting sprays that I like, but I ended up getting the um, the Fix Plus. I really like this. The Prep and Prime, the Fix Plus at the MAC store. I really like this. I have a couple of different setting sprays that I really like a lot. And my cheapest one is the NYX. I normally use the Dewy Finish. And then I have the Morphe, which I really like. I have the Morphe. Um, a continuous setting mist. So these are the two that I'm using, that I use most of the time. But I have had one of these in the past. I really liked it. I just haven't replaced it. So got it when I was down at the cosmetic company store. I was like, yeah. So I, anyways, that was my treat. Oh, and then I, uh, and I'm not going to really talk about this particular product because I'm actually doing a test on it right now. But I ended up buying the uh, Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Eye Fix. This is an instant eye freeze. So I have it on now. I'm testing it. I'll probably have a separate video out um, on this shortly. Or maybe before even this. I don't know. But so this this is this is the other thing I got. And then I went to um, Macy's. And I have, a, I think I have a uh, airing fix station. I think I really do. But I went to Macy's. Last time, last two times I was in Macy's, I saw these earrings. These are ink and, and um, INC. And I just thought they were really pretty. They're, you know, they're hoops. I just thought they were really pretty. But I didn't buy them. So when I went to Macy's last time, they were on sale. And I had a keep on. So I said, okay. So I ended up buying these, and, and you probably have seen them in a video, and I bought these, which is a little bit more, you know, glammy looking. And I just I just really liked it. So I was like, ah, oh, you know, how how fun. So I ended, that's what I ended up doing. So a little bit of empties um, and some stuff that I bought, you know, that I really, really like. Do you guys have a cosmetic company store near you at all? Because I'm kind of bummed that I can't get my my Estee Lauder shade. But, you know, when I spoke to them, they said, oh, no, you know, it comes and goes. But mine has um, Clinique, Estee Lauder, Too Faced, um, what else, just Smashbox, Bobbi Brown, you know, Mac, Tom Ford. I mean, they carry a number of different brands, and they're, you know, they're all, uh, you know, probably maybe they're not the top-selling shades or something. Maybe that's why. But they're always pretty reasonable in comparison to what you get at in the mall or something. So that was that was my like huge uh, splurge. <laughs> I treated myself this week actually. And Jay and I, I think I mentioned earlier, we've been looking for bikes, and um, we both we both have mountain bikes. I have an older Cannondale. Jay has an older Cannondale, and we like to ride our bikes, but. And um, uh, maybe a year and a half ago, I had taken a bad tumble on my bike. I fell off, and I hurt myself really bad. It was bleeding, and 
um, and I hadn't gone, I did not get back on the bike since that, since I fell off. And I just, you know, I'm, it's like at my age, and I don't want to blame age, but I want to stay active. I want to, st and I love bike riding, but I can't, I, the bike I have is a 26 inch, it's a big mountain bike. It's a hybrid actually, combo street mountain trail, but it's, um, it's a unisex. So it's got like, it's a boy's bike, you know, so it's got the high bar and I just have a hard time getting my leg over it, getting my balance, and then pedaling away. So we both decided we we were going to sell those. We're not going to get much because they're like, what, they're vintage, <laughs> like 20 years old or something. But we, th we decided we're going to sell those, and then we're going to um, buy, you know, some probably some e-bikes um, so that it'd be easier for us to do the trails that we want to do in Bar Harbor and then just maybe go on more longer bike rides with the e-bikes because then when you get tired, you know, they have a pedal assist, but you also have a little throttle on some of them. When you get tired, you can have the pedal assist. And I think the whole thing with the e-bikes is that it gets you out, you know, it gets you out instead of sitting there. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to making that decision and and you know and, and getting my pedaling my butt around town again <laughs> crazy I know that sounds crazy so anyways that's some of the some of my cool stuff that I think is cool I love my earrings I'm I'm I love earrings I really do and I, I this product a very very interesting product I had the hottest time finding this product it was sold out everywhere on the internet. I mean, I checked Walmart, I checked Ulta, every, on the websites, everywhere was sold out. So, but I scoffed one. And, and so, that's what I'm testing. You'll have to watch my other video. Might have already seen it. But yeah, so that's what I'm testing. And I'm looking forward to this stuff. So those are just my little silly things this week, you know, that, um, that I did that made me feel a little bit better. I hope you guys had a good week. I hope, and I know, I think holidays coming up, Labor Day is coming up. Um, I think Jay and I are gonna try to beach it for Labor Day. We're not going away anywhere, just probably do some beach trips and hang low, you know, type of thing. But that's the plan. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. And, you know, hey, do any of you have e-bikes? If you have any tips, tricks, let me know. I just wanna get back in shape. I really just want to get back in shape. And I feel that, you know, COVID has just changed so much of our lifestyle that both Jay and I need to, we're getting motivated. We've, we've found our motivation, um, but now we just need to get back into doing more of the things that we both both so much loved and, and biking was one of them, especially up in Acadia. So anyways, I digress. Wanted to share some of my empties and some of the things that I bought and uh, just share a little bit of what's been happening. Hope you guys have a great one. I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.